Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would do for you today um, a sort of update on my apartment situation. So it'll be before and after. I've already filmed the before, which I'm gonna edit in right now. Hi everyone, it's Sean. So I'm going to do a little before house tour for you today. Before I do all of my renovations, just renovations, <laughs> just so you can see um, what it looked like before and what it's going to look like after I do everything. Hopefully it's going to look different and nicer, but uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look. So here is my apartment. No, not so bad. It is cluttered. As you can see, I have, um, over here I have my workout machine right in the middle of my dining set. Um, it does get in the way a lot, but like I said, I didn't really want the dining set necessarily, um, but I have it, so yeah. That is that. I've got my gourds out on the table. Spare change. That's the outdoor to the balcony. And then my very cluttered, there it's focusing, my very cluttered desk area. Um, that used to look a lot different. There's actually a mirrored wall behind it so you can see it. You can see me. Hi. Over there. Um, it used to be even worse, but it's quite cluttered. Uh, it's just kind of where everything lands. So that is another challenge that's going to be getting sorted out quite soon. Over here, we found the cat, Mac. Mac, get down. Get down. We found the cat drinking some water. Um, but yeah, this is where I film my little videos. It's nothing to fancy. Um, the lighting is pretty crap in here, but it's actually even more beige than the rest of the house. So you can see it's just this kind of off-white. Even the ceiling is more light, and I don't like it. I have this bright red couch, which is my grandmother's, that I love. Um, I love it, but I'm actually getting a little tired of the red, so I'm going to see about maybe slip covering it a little bit, just for a bit, just to kind of take away some of the color, but I don't know, maybe once everything's painted I'll like it a bit more. There's my boys, one dog and one cat, Alvin and Mac, hi guys, <laughs> and my coffee table, my ancient television, because who needs a new one? Um, over here we have the well-used cat stand <laughs> that the cat loves. I actually recovered it. It used to be a blue color and I recovered it, but it, he's black so it gets covered in his cat hair. I've got to vacuum that again soon. Um, and then this is some storage in here. This is actually my living room, I mean my bedroom closet that is in the living room. Yay! Uh, <laughs> another shelving unit. Go into the bathroom and it's just really plain and simple. Actually it's really bright in here but you can see where it's splitting there and especially on the roof as it focuses. It's hard to see um, in the light but yeah, it's peeling there so that's got to get done. And then we come into the bedroom, which is just really simple, but it's got this great big purple wall that was there before that painting, and as you can see, they do not go together, so I'm going to be probably painting over that. It's the same color as the living room, and it looks a little brighter in here, but it's not. I do have uh, this purple chair over here as well. It's not really focusing in this light. Sorry, guys. But it's really pretty, um, so that's enough color, I think. In my vanity, really girly vanity, just, just a girl thing. Um, yeah, so that's my place. It's pretty small. It's not anything super fancy. Um, it's cozy, though. I like it. 
yeah, it's it'll be nice to get everything finally sorted and painted and finished and the last little bits done. And hopefully it'll look even brighter and nicer and fresher when it's all finished. So hopefully by the time that you see this, it's going to actually be done and I'll be able to show you the after video. But that's my before. I'm going to show you what it looks like now. It's not 100%. It's not. Um, there's still a few things that are going to happen actually quite soon that I'm going to rearrange and touch up and I still have to paint the bedroom because I am a lazy oaf. <laughs> but um, I'm going to show you what it looks like now because it's night and day. It's so much better. Um, please, please ignore all the Christmas decorations <laughs> because I still have them all up and it is February. I've meant to take it down actually today, but the lighting kind of pulled through for me, so I thought I would film instead and then I can deal with putting the decorations away at a later date. Um, probably like this week. Not probably, definitely this week. Um, and there's a few bits and pieces that are still going to get sorted out. I'm getting rid of a couple of things still and a few more bits and bobs that I want to pick up to help revamp the space, but overall I'm really happy. So I thought I would show you that now. Okay, so that is my front door. It's white. <laughs> I've repainted the whole apartment. If you saw in the last one, it was kind of peachy. So when you walk in from there, you come right into the kitchen. Now it's pretty basic. But I did add these really cool black boxes. Not really cool, they're just plain basic black boxes. But they're all along the top for extra storage, which is amazing. I've got my cutting board. I love this dish rack. It's from Umbra, I wanna say. I picked it up at a place called Bins. And I love it's just sleek design and it's so handy. There's a little spout that allows it to run off, which is great. And over here you've got like the spices and my magic bullet, a little air freshener, food processor, juicer, carry through. I love cows, so I have little cow things everywhere. Like this holds my dish sponge. This was given to me just recently actually. Um, my dish rack, good, my little, this is my kind of throw all. So this still has to get kind of sorted. I've got different olive oils and vinegars and different Jameson's, because I love Jameson, knives, um, and this is like where I put my salt, sea salt, holder for garlic, yeah. This is going to get changed out. Right now the cat litter is actually underneath, kind of hidden, well, not really hidden here, but it's underneath that, um, so we're trying to sort out a different kind of thing to do there. Coming back this way, there's a cat stand that looks awful um but my cat loves it i actually refinished it but i didn't take into account that he's black and that was beige so yeah and what i got for my birthday right here in between the fridge you can see that in between the fridge and the um wall is a little cupboard thing and i'll pull it out for you is that not the best thing ever? My boyfriend bought that, for, or not bought it, he made it. He made it for me for my birthday. And I am absolutely in love with that. So it just wheels out, wheels back in, lots of storage. All my little mason jars, love it. So from there you come into the office and that, there's a little stack of like pictures that are still, I don't know where to put them back there but it's looking pretty good I got all these boxes in it and it's right to the top so great use of space all my travels my cat food because the dog will eat it if it's not there um, that's their shared water bowl they both kind of drink out of it need some water but yeah it's just little knickknacks and things for my travels like up in here you can see um, a magnet from London, a picture of London, little double decker bus thing. Over here is a postcard and magnet from Ez. Uh, this is from Positano, a guy 
on the beach sold them and made them. And this I picked up in Ez. It's a wooden game where you hop the ball over and every time you hop the ball and then they sit in this little kind of divot. So that was really cool I thought. So I got that. And it's just nice to remember like, such an amazing time in my life. I actually haven't talked much about my trip on this channel so perhaps I will at some point. And up here are some records to go with my record player. There are my father's. So yeah, I really love this. I love how it turned out. I love all the boxes, how it looks. Um, and then the brown like kind of wooden, looks almost like it's supposed to be suede or something, but it's like a different kind of fiber. It's kind of neat. So I liked those because it kind of fits in with the wood that's going on here. Oh, well, there's like glistening from the sun. But this is like my little work area. So I've got some stuff underneath the oldest Ikea chair in history. This has been here forever. My new laptop, this is my MacBook Pro with my marble case that I'm in love with. Um, and then just like my school books as I have to do schoolwork. Photos, my family um, printer. Another new little notebook that I love. It says, do what they think you can't do. It's hard to see but I absolutely adore that. So notebooks are my life. I have so many because you constantly need them. Like this little one, I write ideas in them. This is actually a, um, what's it called? It's like a sticky notepad thing, which is awesome. Helps keep you organized. Extra magazines that I'm reading, not extra, but magazines I'm reading and stuff. Yeah, and then you come over here to my Christmas section <laughs> because I still have all my decorations up. Yeah, so over here I've got like my CD player and this dining table that is going to be going very, very soon. You've got a little section over there with my dog's beds because he has more than one, yes, I should throw them out. But he kind of like, Princess and the Pea makes a whole bunch of <laughs> mess over there and sleeps in them and lays in them and pulls things out of it, I don't know, it's like his little area. And then over here is my elliptical machine, right in the middle of the living room, which is why this is gonna go very soon, so this can have a home. Yeah, we've got that. And then working your way over here, we've got my very old television set, knickknacks, my record players there, the back of my microwave is there, that I hardly use, and then the couch. Now this has a slip cover on it, and it's all bunched up because my dog was clearly just playing on it. Um, but yeah, I this is my grandma's couch. It's red underneath, and I was just a little bit tired of the red, so I added the gray, and I just thought it gave it a nice little refresh with my wicked awesome picture wall that I did. Um, ladder shelf to the side and I have just these little TV trays that I'm using as nightstands um, because I also, not nightstands, but side tables because I wanted somewhere to put my stuff. Then I've got my little chest here that I use as a coffee table that I want to paint. So we're going to actually, be, my boyfriend is going to help me, we're going to paint that out and that chest in the back there we're going to paint out as well. Um, to brighten it up a bit and make them kind of match and just refresh. Got lots of pictures here, lots of family pictures, my dad up there and stuff. But recently I got this and I really wanted to show you because I thought it was so cool. It's my logo on wood, painted on wood, printed on wood. I thought it was the coolest thing. My client, my very first client ever made that for me and I just loved it so I wanted to show you. And this I thought was really cool. It's on a record and it's a picture of a city. It would be nice if I knew which one. I'm pretty sure it's New York, but um, I'm not 100% sure. I just thought it was really cool. And I got that in Nice. The guy spray painted that, that city skyline onto the record. And I just absolutely loved it and got it. And it just all really flows well. And it's nice to have the pictures and a little bit of interest. So that's what 
that looks like. And then over here, I've got books and shoes. So this is my hall closet kind of thing. There's a cat toy hanging off the shoe rack. And it's just a bunch of stuff. It's my dad. My dad caught that fish and it was hanging up forever in his place. So I have one and my stepmom has the other. And yeah, there's more pictures and stuff and then like a little cubby hole of like hats and big thick sweater to lounge around the house, dog coat and shoes and my sunglasses and yeah. So that's that little area. It's handy to have. Um, yeah. And then my hall closet or my only real closet, I don't have a bedroom closet, but that is, uh, I wanted to do something to it, like cover the outside of it in wallpaper or something. I don't know. It's hard. It's really hard to figure out what you want to do with your space. But it is all painted really nice and white, which really refreshes the whole of the space. Like I just love, it looks cluttered in this shot, but it's really nice. Um, and when I do take away those last little bits of things and finish organizing, it'll look even better, I hope. Bathroom, it's just simple. Got, you know, the necessities and it's all painted nice bright white as well, which I absolutely love. Candle, yeah, nothing really going on too much in there, but the white is just the biggest thing and it makes a really big difference because if you look here, which is not white, you can see it really sucks. So it just looks dingy and gross, but the white really makes a big difference. And then you come in here and this is my room. My bed's here, it's a little, I made it, but it looks a little disheveled for some reason. I tried so hard. You'd never would have known that I used to do interior design for a living because my place does not look like that anymore. Um, I didn't even fold that towel, or not towel, blanket. Anyways, I've got like a purple chair. I pull it over to do my uh, makeup. This is my little vanity over here. I think I showed this before. Another picture. I always have pictures of my grandma and all my products and things that I use on a regular basis. This I just got for Christmas and I really like it for your rings and just little knick-knacky type thing. That's from Arizona. And these are like little macaroon soaps and candles that I got. These I actually got in Dubai. These I got in Ez. Paris picture that I love. It's just so cool with all the birds flying in it. I just love that shot. It's a postcard actually. And a little book again. If I need to take any notes or anything, little cream pots. <sighs> Another um, mirror. And it it's quite old. That mirror I've had it, my mom I think had it probably before I was born. Um, so I need to paint that out too. I think when we do the other painting, I probably will get that painted out. And yeah, that's it. There's a little nightstand. My spunk mat, if you don't know what a spunk mat is, I highly suggest you look into that. And then I have all my clothes here. Um, this is where I kind of actually do my clothes, getting ready. Do my clothes, getting ready, that's not a sentence. This is where I get ready, because the hall closet really is just kind of a catch-all um, and stuff that I don't wear on the regular. It's not very big, so I've put as much as I could here of things I actually wear regularly. Yeah, and then over here is another little chair that used to be the one I used for my um, my mess of cords. Cords are the worst. I never know what to do with them. <sighs> I'm working on it. I keep, I'm gonna sort that's my next thing. The next time I do an update, you won't see any cords. Um, it used to be, it's a painted chair. It's really beautiful actually. Um, my mom got it for me. So it used to be my vanity, but I like the other one for sitting longer. So, um, and then this is a little dress stand for jewelry and stuff, but I just, I have a neck, it's not even a necklace, the hair band on it as a necklace. But um, I just thought it was pretty, pretty little area. Eventually I will sort the rest of that out. 
I know it's not 100% done, and like I said, you would never have guessed that I used to do interior design for a living, but um, it is a work in progress. I had so, and if you saw the last one, I hopefully you think that it does look different, because I think it does. I just had so much stuff from my family, from my grandma, from my dad, um, after they passed away, my great grandma, and so it's been like an ongoing battle. I used to have bins out on the balcony and finally those came in and everything's filled up and it's just been, it's been kind of a process. And it's not that I don't, it's because I love this stuff. I don't want to get rid of it because it reminds me of them so much. And that's why I'm having the hardest time of actually letting anything go. Um, the couch is actually going to be going soon to go live with my aunt and uncle. Um, and another couch is going to come that was my dad's because it's bigger and I need more space now um, to kind of lay out and stuff. It's just not enough with me, my boyfriend, my dog, my cat. And we're all like laying there. So, um, And then eventually I want to get a new sofa. Eventually. So, yeah. It's just an ongoing process. And... I think once that dining table goes and there's a little bit more space, it'll make a bit more difference in everything that happens in here. Um, and then I'm gonna rearrange a few bits more and sort it out. So hopefully on the next one, it will look even different. <laughs> but until then, um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm quite nosy myself, so I always find these ones really fascinating. Um, so hopefully you did as well. Maybe not fascinating, but it gave you a little bit of a peek into what my place looks like. Sorry, my battery died. So yeah, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't checked out my website yet, please do. I will link it all below as long, uh, 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 along with my Twitter and Instagram pages as well. So if you don't follow me yet, please do. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you want to see more. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye!